Hey, we're delving deeper into teaching number five in our study of the book of Revelation. Now, the folks in Ephesus, you know, they are rock solid. When it comes to carrying out the responsibilities of a Christian church, they are right on. But Jesus tells the congregation, remember, repent, and renew. Remember the passion that motivated you. Remember the gratefulness that motivated you. Remember the joy that motivated you. Remember when you serve from a heart of love and not from the must of duty. Now, repentance is more than just saying you're sorry and asking for forgiveness. Repentance implies a change of behavior. To repent, one must first be honest with himself. So take that heart inventory, scrutinize your motivations. Are you just going through the motions? Is there a reason that you've lost your passion? Are you excited about using your spiritual gifts to further the kingdom? Does serving Jesus make you feel alive? Does it energize you? If fear or guilt, if expectations or acceptance from others, is that motivating you? If you don't like your answers, it's an invitation from the Holy Spirit to partner with him to make a change. So ask God to create in you a right spirit, a right spirit within you. Confide your problem with that trusted spiritual friend and then pray together. Now, don't force the feelings. Repenting is organic. It is not mechanical. Decide that you're going to serve with passion or just let the opportunity pass. See, serve because you want to, not because you must, but because you or, or because you've been guilted into it. Serve because you want. Let your yes be yes. Let your no be no. And then decide to hang out with believers who you see serving from a heart of passion. Remember, repentance is not a destination. It's a process. So be patient with yourself. You are partnering with the Holy Spirit to renew your enthusiasm, your passion. That And that first part of that, that, that partnership, it's remember. And the second part is repent, to change your ways. And my friends, change is always hard. Nobody likes it unless your diaper's wet. Still, God empowers change for those who desire to do his will.